Walk through any forest, stick a hydrophone in the sea, or enter a cave with a bat detector, and one thing becomes clear: we live in a world of sound. While researchers and poets have chewed over whether these animal vocalizations are music, it's clear that our fellow animals produce and perceive complex sounds for communication. As far as scientists can tell, most of these utterances serve at least one of two functions: to attract a mate. Or to establish territories among rivals of the same sex. Even though it's not a member of the group loosely referred to as songbirds, the Australian pied butcherbird is a virtuoso of class aves. The greater sack-winged bat is one of the few bat species whose calls can be heard by the human ear. But when the vocalizations of the Brazilian free-tailed bat are slowed down, its singing ability becomes apparent. Researchers only recently measured the ultrasonic noises male mice produce. Reminiscent of bird songs, the vocalizations may be used to woo mates and warn rivals to steer clear. When males, such as these western chorus frogs, get together to croak and advertise their fitness to prospective mates, rhythms and patterns develop. Cricket chirping and the summertime droning of cicadas are well-known examples of auditory insect communication. But a male Drosophila melanogaster also plays a quiet tune by drumming its wings to impress a mate. The undisputed champions of underwater crooning are whales. Humpback whale songs can travel kilometers throughout the sea. Though researchers still don't know exactly why the marine mammals are singing. <coughs> Smaller denizens of the ocean also lend their voices to the marine cacophony. Scientists recently probed some of the neural mechanisms behind the song of the midshipman, a fish that hums a low-frequency buzz to serenade mates. <laughs> 